Hello, amazing human, and welcome to Neurodivergent Bites, a podcast for neurodivergent entrepreneurs to understand systems, change the narrative about productivity, and embrace yourself for who you really freaking are. If your energy is being sucked, you're struggling to focus, or you know you need systems, but there's a disconnect for whatever reason, join your host, that's me, Carolee Galt, along with fellow amazing humans on how being a neurodivergent entrepreneur has impacted the way they do life and business. If you're looking for bite-sized action steps, you're in the right place. Hello, amazing humans. Welcome back to Neurodivergent Bites. I am your host, Kara Lee. And today I want to talk about ways to calm your mind. More than likely, I have ADHD. So more than likely, you also have like these crazy thoughts going through your brain at any given time, 500 dialogues, easily overstimulated, and so many other things. Well, recently, I have actually had my brain not being completely overwhelmed by 5 million trains of thought, and I thought that it would be an amazing episode to be able to share why I feel that those things have been happening um, more frequently, which is amazing. So, for one, I have been out in nature. It's summertime here, and I've been outside a little bit more, and I'm just going to tell you this. I don't like the outside. Like, I have, I'm a homebody. I don't even like to go sit outside at my house. Now, granted, I do live in town, so there's other things, but I digress. But I have realized that being out in nature actually calms my mind, specifically when I'm by, like, a body of water, and there's, like, water sounds which is why I've incorporated inside my sleep app, like river sounds, water sounds, you know, the beach, things like that, because it has helped my brain calm down enough that it can sleep. It has helped my brain calm down enough during the day that I can focus on what actually needs to be done. And I don't have 500 things bombarding me at the exact same time. So it's become a lot easier for me to focus. Now, sometimes when I'm struggling to focus, I'll put on those sounds in the background while I'm working. And I use the brain.fm app to do that. It's not a free app, but it is an amazing investment for this because it's for sleep, it's for meditation, it's for focus. So there's a lot of different options on this app and it's, it's amazing. And it will play as long as you want it to, including indefinitely until you your phone dies or it shuts off. <laughs> There's also a desktop app as well. If you wanted to check that out, I actually, you can go to the Productivity Impacts YouTube channel and I do a complete review on the desktop and mobile app on there. All right. So I did a little bit of research and I came across a few different things that I wanted to share as to why water or nature sounds are very calming for your brain. All right. And They alter the connections in your brain that reduce your body's natural fight or flight instinct. All right, so nature sounds act as a distraction away from the day-to-day anxiety and worries, redirecting our tensions and stresses outward to objects and movements outside. Okay, so there is literally a connection in our brain and it calms that. It doesn't allow us to go into a a space of anxiety and stress, which if you're trying to work on things for your business or take care of your kids or, you know, whatever you're doing, anxiety and stress is not going to help that, right? So if we can have something in playing in the background or while we sleep so we can get a good night's sleep, that's going to reduce some of those things. It's totally worth every single thing, right? It's just, it's worth so much more than what you pay for it or whatever, okay? So I encourage you, if you are not getting outside a lot, like I haven't been, but I've been really, really wanting to, I'm really encouraging you to get outside, get into nature so it's actually authentic, right? Authentic sounds and things like that. And then when you're inside, like in the winter or, you know, you're trying to sleep and that's inside, you can easily pop on that app and pop on some of those nature sounds to be able to play throughout the night so you can get a really good night's sleep. Honestly, since I have used the Brain.fm app for sleeping, it has been an absolute game changer. It is a thing I use every single night. And so it's been able to help me get a better night's sleep. Even if I only have five to six hours of sleep, it's so much better sleep that it makes it like I wake up and I'm still rejuvenated. Now, obviously, there's still times I wake up and I can't get out of bed. um, But that's because the thing is still playing. So sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to turn this off. So 
you can have it stop playing an hour before your alarm goes off and it'll help. It won't put your brain back to sleep like it does sometimes when I forget to do that. So all in all, if you can be out in nature a lot more, it's going to help with your focus. It's going to help with the joy. It's going to help with just your energy. Like there are so many times when I'm like, I just need to be outside, but what can I do outside? What if I have to work on my business or something? There's times where I'm like, I have to mow the lawn. So I'll put in my earbuds, I'll listen to a training of some sort, or I'll listen to a podcast. And I'm, and I, so in that turn, I'm mowing. I have a push mower, by the way. So I'm also walking when I mow my lawn and I'm listening to something that's multitasking, but it's efficient multitasking if you can do that, right? So in turn, if you are really wanting to have a relaxed feel, you could put on nature sounds or even a meditation while you're outside just chilling, like for example, uh, by the pool, right? Or in a hammock or in a swing of some sort on the trampoline, just sitting in a chair, looking at nature. You could be going on a walk. I am not like here to tell you to get exercising, but movement does help focus. And when you're out in nature moving, it helps even more, All right? So as I'm recording this episode, I am literally convincing myself as I'm talking, like, Carolee, you need to get out and do this stuff more, not get in your stuffy office where, you know, you don't have as much sunshine and, you know, or at least incorporate some more of these sounds, right? Because I don't have as much sunshine and sounds down here, but just really evaluate what is something that helps you focus. This is just one piece that helps you focus. All right. So think about it. This is, this is what I want you to take away from today. For one, I want you to see if nature is something that actually really helps calm your brain because before I want to go full circle here, right? Because what happened with my brain is that I have been so calm over the last couple of days and you won't, you know what? I have worked my butt off I have also just chilled, relaxed, but I've also just not been trying to fix everyone's problems, not been trying to do all the things for my business immediately. I've got a great plan so I can focus on the plan and I can move forward. Now, all of that didn't happen overnight, right? All that happened when I felt in alignment with what I was doing right? So do you feel in alignment with what you're doing? That'll help you focus too. When I have the skills and the know-how to do things, that helps me focus, right? So get the support that you need. Use the tools and software and everything that's available to you to help you focus, to help you get work done, to get you feeling good, Use all of those things because your business, you are amazing. And I want you to be just as successful as the human next to you. So today, I want to invite you to join me in the Hyperfocus Treehouse in some capacity. Why do I talk about the Hyperfocus Treehouse a lot? Because it is the game-changing membership program that has three separate levels, depending on where you are in your business, to help you actually get the work done, to help you actually get systematized, to help you actually have accountability, to do the things so you can have those desired outcomes that you have for you and your business. So that's why I'm inviting you to the Hyperfocus Treehouse. All right, go ahead and head to the show notes, grab that link, at least check it out. If you are not sure if it's for you or what level is for you, go ahead and shoot me a DM on any of the social media platforms that I am on, and I would be happy to answer any of those for you. So until next time, have an amazing day, week, and let's have some amazing nature, water, sounds into your life and see if it helps you focus. And maybe... Just maybe it'll help calm the 500 conversations and streams of thought that are in your brain just enough that you're like, (sighs) you take that deep breath and you're like, I can, I can think. Hopefully my fingers are crossed for you.
Before I wrap up today's episode, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey to empower neurodivergent entrepreneurs. I hope that you've gained valuable insights and a fresh perspective on productivity and self-acceptance. No matter where you are in your entrepreneurial journey, I'm here to support you. These transformative conversations will equip you with bite-sized action steps that you can apply immediately. Let's redefine productivity on our own terms and create a business that aligns with who we truly are. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to receive the latest episodes and join our amazing community of neurodivergent humans. Remember, being unique is our superpower and together we can rewrite the rules of success.